What's going on everyone and welcome back. So I have some quick MetaZoo updates for all of you. For all of you MetaZoo fans out there, we have some print run numbers. We're gonna talk about the market a little bit, where prices are trending, what's going up, what's crashing down, and what does it look like for the near future. So first and foremost, a few weeks ago, maybe more than a month ago, we talked about Crypto Nation second edition coming out. We talked about the Walmart deal um, and we talked about some of the numbers that may come out for print runs. So we did have a lot of speculation for Crypto Nation second edition. A lot of people were talking about 200,000, 250,000, quarter million. And then they were also talking about as high as 500,000. So the good news is these numbers have been confirmed, at least for the United States, how many will be released. And that is 62.5 thousand units for the US. So it is much better than what we expected, right? So we were expecting a huge print run. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, hey, that's still a lot. Nightfall had 50,000 uh, units and they have crashed down quite a bit. But what we have to understand and realize is that MetaZoo is not slowing down and Mike is pushing MetaZoo on a trajectory that is only going up right now. It has went parabolic, it has not slowed down. Yes, a lot of products that have less demand, right? Less demand is going to go down and that's what they're doing. But it doesn't mean that long-term, just like your Pokemon, some of your booster boxes on that three-year hit run does not go up in price, right? It doesn't mean they don't go up in price. Once that demand increases, and that supply runs dry due to box breaks and whatnot breaks and all of this stuff, then prices will go up, supply and demand. There is a lot of demand for MetaZoo. And 50,000 boxes is not a lot, right? So Mike confirmed that Nightfall had 40,000 boxes of Nightfall pushed for the U.S., and 10,000 were allocated elsewhere. But we do not know the full print run for Crypto Nation Second Edition yet. But the good news is it is going global and it's not just going to Australia or Canada. So, right here, a person asked So, the rest of the print run will be shipped out to different countries. That's awesome for the game and I am excited. Mike responded with Yep, UK, EU, Central America, Canada, Latin America. Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, and Dubai. So as we can see, this game is getting pushed to a major international market, and they have a lot of things under their sleeve. Wilderness is near complete, and in the next few weeks, we're gonna see second edition hit the market hard. Now, it doesn't mean FOMO in and grab all of these boxes unless you're gonna hold them for a very long time, or unless you are just trying to collect some cards and play the game. So. I want to go ahead and show you really quick what the market is doing so you have an understanding. So Nightfall, when Nightfall first came out, these boxes hit roughly $350 to $400. They crashed down to right around $200 recently, and now you're seeing stuff like this. MetaZoo Nightfall Booster Box plus exclusive promos. These are channel fireball promos. These promos were running two to $300 just for the big fireball here on the left. And now you can get these two cards, and people were picking this up with a booster box for only $232. That is it, $227. So these two Channel Fireball exclusive promos, including one Nightfall booster box for almost just $200. And then when we scroll down, we see the first sale of just a booster box around 190. Um, I think I've seen one around 175 somewhere down here. But the point is, it's shown that Nightfall has went below $200. So that is quite low. But like I said, this is, the second run, the second segment of MetaZoo. And of course, these prices are going to go up in the future because this only had 50,000 worldwide. And as the global market gets into MetaZoo and as, as this gets into Walmart, this will be highly desired. This box right here will be very, very desirable. And at $190, you can't go wrong on this box. Now, when we're looking over here at Crypto Nation First Edition, we can see that these boxes have not really went down. This is under Kickstarter, right? But this is one of the most desirable boxes that people can still try to afford for their personal collection. And that's because a Kickstarter box or non-alternating is incredibly expensive. But when you look at this, this is like a holy grail for MetaZoo in the future. The first segment that was, you know, pushed out there for everyone after the Kickstarter that people can actually get their hands on. But Looking at the last couple months, these boxes have not really went down. They've actually increased. They hit about a thousand. And the last thing I want to show y'all really quick is just talking about some updates that they have coming out. So let's look at some announcements really quick. 
We have the Valentine's Day Hollow. This came out a few days ago, just like everything else they've done. Right here, you have a heart in the background to represent the Valentine's Day holographic cards. So there are small hearts in the background, just like Wilderness will have the small leaves in the background. Wilderness, our third set is a wrap. So that is awesome. So that means the play testers are doing all of their work and finishing up right now. So some of these cards may hit the market very soon. You may see some wilderness play tester cards coming out and hitting the market. Then you have, we are stepping up security on our gold cards. So you can see the star MetaZoo logos in the background for the security for the holographic foils that is coming out. And then one of the last things I want to touch really quick is one last update for those of you that's late with us talking about the wilderness booster boxes will be holographic so the nightfall were really nice they were actually glow in the dark and the wilderness boxes will be holographic and made from recyclable material so that's awesome meta zoo um good to you for doing that and each wilderness booster box will be have a tree planted in its honor so every wilderness booster box that sells a tree will be planted in its honor and What's not cool about a holographic booster box? So this will be the third the third main segment for MetaZoo. So we have the Wilderness booster boxes coming out. So what do y'all think about all of this? Are you still excited for MetaZoo? What do you think about the market and its future? What do you think about short term versus long term and the big box store releases? And going international, not just Australia and Canada, but pretty much we're starting to go worldwide for MetaZoo. So that's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see what else they have in store and see the rest of the wilderness lineup. And I will be back at y'all with another video very soon. And I'll see y'all later.